A few weeks later in Philadelphia, the Continental Congress gave to Jefferson the task of drafting the Declaration of Independence. Jefferson made this document the most eloquent declaration of the rights of man ever written. In its preamble, he asserted in ringing phrases the beliefs about human freedom that had come to be the aims of the revolution. The words of the Declaration of Independence still were resounding in the minds of men. Some of the delegates insisted that a Bill of Rights be written into the Constitution. Others believed these rights were already well protected by the states. This was to become the major issue in the struggle over adoption. When at last the delegates gathered to sign their names to the draft of the Constitution, it contained no Bill of Rights. The convention had adopted certain guarantees of due process of law, but had failed to put in other guarantees of personal liberty. Became the basis for debate and discussion as the delegates worked shaping and reshaping the plan for government. Differences were settled by compromise, as many of the men realized the significance of the work before them. At the end of three months' work, 39 of the delegates signed the Constitution. The long struggle for ratification lay ahead, but here was one of the great political documents of all. Before long, the capable young officer met the first real challenge of his career, for he was... July 4th, 1776. With the signing of the Declaration of Independence, a new nation was born. Now, a national flag was needed.